the greedy birdie. In a forest deep and calm, they dwell, birdie and dory, a story to tell. They saw a treat, so sweet and fine, led them to lessons, a tale in rhyme. With wings of hope and a recipe in hand, Birdie set out for the pudding land. Ingredients gathered, the flavors divine, a dessert adventure, so daring, yet kind. Impatient and greedy, Birdie took a big bite of the hot pudding, oh, what a sight! A lesson was learned, the hard way, it's true, that patience and love are important too. Back to the forest, where they belong, Birdie and Dory sing their song. Of lessons in life, and a love so true, in their cozy nest, beneath skies so blue. In a big, peaceful forest, there was a happy couple, Birdie and his wife named Dory. They lived in a cozy nest high up in a tall tree. They loved the quiet life in the forest, surrounded by the sounds of nature. One day, Birdie decided to explore beyond the forest. He flew far and landed in a lively village. The villagers were having a special celebration, and it was full of fun and laughter. After a big meal, the villagers left some delicious pudding in pots outside. Birdie, who was very hungry, couldn't resist the sweet smell of the pudding. He pecked at it and loved the taste. Birdie wanted to share this yummy pudding with his wife. So, he asked a kind old grandma in the village for the pudding recipe. Granny says, here's how you can make a yummy rice pudding. It's easy, and you don't need many things. All you need is, like milk, rice, sugar, dry fruits, and cardamom. The important part is to be patient because the rice has to cook in the milk to taste really good. First, cook the rice in milk, and then make it sweet and add some spices that make it taste special. Finally, put some nuts and dried fruits on top to make it look pretty. It's a tasty treat you can enjoy. Birdie rushed back to his nest, excited to surprise his wife with the pudding. He gathered all the ingredients by visiting the milkman, a grocery store, and a shop with dry fruits and cardamom. The milkman smiled at Birdie, gave him fresh milk, and wished him luck with the pudding. The kind store owner helped Birdie find rice and sugar, share a sweet treat, and got a happy chirp in return. At the other shop, Birdie found all the yummy nuts and spices. The owner helped him pick the best ones, packed them up, and shared a special Birdie song. Once he had everything, Birdie was in a hurry for his wife to make the pudding. He watched as she followed the recipe, cooking the pudding to perfection. But Birdie couldn't wait for it to cool. The pudding was hot, and Birdie's greed got the best of him. He took a big bite, burning his mouth. He flew around in pain and drank all the water in their nest, but it wasn't enough to soothe his burning mouth. Desperate for more water, Birdie flew to a nearby lake and drank so much that he became heavy. To keep the water in, he held a straw in his beak like a stopper. Now, it was hard for Birdie to fly back home. He couldn't stay in the air for long and landed in an old granny's house. She offered him shelter. While she was in the kitchen making pudding, Birdie couldn't resist his greed and tried to eat some. In the process, he accidentally let go of the straw, and all the water in his mouth flooded the granny's house. She got angry and shooed Birdie away. Terrified and wiser, Birdie flew back to his nest in the forest. He learned a valuable lesson about not letting greed take over. Birdie and Dory remembered this adventure as a reminder to be patient and not let greed ruin good things.